you can see, it's not bouncing around at all. Hey guys, and welcome to the show Maraha. And today we're having a look at the running belt from Apex Fitness. Disclaimer, the guys at Apex Fitness sent me out this vest to try out, uh, to review for you guys. Now, there's nothing in it for me, but I did get this vest for free. Okay, let's break this guy open and see what we have. So we have a card here from Apex Fitness with uh, their Instagram. Thank you for supporting Irish business. We would really appreciate if you shared your new brand, new bands on Instagram and tagged us. That's nice. Irish business, always good to support local businesses. Okay. Wow. Okay, so I've seen loads of people wearing these guys around the city. Um, they recently I was driving up towards Phoenix Park and the amount of people come and running back down from the park wearing one of these guys, I, I couldn't believe it. When I saw these first, I thought they were some kind of a GPS unit, but basically, what they, as far as I know what they are, is carrying your phone, bits and bobs, and what have you. So, pretty light in the hand, um, all adjustable, you can see here and here, okay, pocket here then. You have a Velcro, Velcro strap there. Put your phone in. Okay. Elasticated on the waist then as well. That will help with sizing and um, adjustability and sizing is really good, I'd say. Okay. Here we go guys so what we're going to do then is we're going to take this out on a couple of runs try it in different scenarios and see how we what get i on. would really be interested in is to see what it's like on a longer run because i'm assuming some people run the marathon are going to wear these guys running the marathon and um, some people want to bring their phone with them some people may use it for carrying gels and bits and bobs and um, so I want to try it in a couple of different scenarios, say shorter, faster stuff, and maybe just going for a long, easier run, see how it works out that way, okay? So, let's have a look. I suppose first let's try, try it on straight out of the pack. So I've put it on, I like guess putting on, I suppose, a t-shirt, top, okay. So straight away out of the pack, I didn't have to adjust it. And it feels actually nice and secure. You have that elasticated guide there that's going to work with you as you move. And then here, a little bit more in this area here, a little bit more rigid. And what have we got here? Oh, nice little zip pocket there. Okay, big enough for maybe one gel. Probably more convenient for carrying maybe a key or maybe a credit card or something like that. And then on the other side, just a little velcro. Same thing again, you could stick a gel in there or a key. So you could definitely carry two gels in this guy. And then obviously you have this pocket here then for your mobile phone. And there seems to be on the inside here it's a little bit of clear plastic that you can maybe if you had you can open it there ah oh, yes that's what it is so you're out running you're out running uh you're listening to music or you got a message or got a phone call and you want to stop and then you can click that guy down you see here you have your clear plastic there to use your phone do what you need to do and then 
click it back up again. That's neat. Okay, so when I have this on, it doesn't, it's not, it's not heavy. Um, it, it kind of looked heavier when I saw it on other people. I thought maybe that's adding it, but it's not. It's not heavy at all. It's quite comfy around here where it's elasticated. What I'd be interested in is this, this area here, going over your shoulders. Um, how it would, if it moves, was it chafe or anything like that? That's what I'd be really interested in. So, first impressions, yeah, no, this is a quite a nifty little thing. Um, I can see, I can see why people have been purchasing this product. I can see why people like it. I can see why so many people are using it. Um, but really for me, it's going to be, the proof will be in the pudding when I actually go and run in this guy. Okay? Okay, so, about two miles into my run, running easy, as you can see. It's not bouncing around at all. It's not causing me any issues at all whatsoever. Uh, it's quite comfortable. Not digging in anywhere. So, so far so good. Next, we're going to do uh, some faster running and see how it works. Works out there. All done there now. Uh, did my I did four by two k of a two minute jog. So the pace would have been say. 6, 40, something like that. So I was running, running fast enough. Uh, absolutely no issue at all with the running belt. Hardly even know, know what's added on, to be honest with you. Hey guys, and welcome back to the show, Marah, where we're going to have our final thoughts on the Apex running belt. Uh, some more of the finer details for you. At the bottom of the foam pocket, you have three little holes here. So I suppose if you want to, plug something into the bottom of your phone that will work well also then the size of your phone so i have a samsung a50 big lump of a phone or is it an a51 a50 a51 big lump of a phone and this is the phone holder for it and it actually takes the phone no problem it'll fit in fine like that um so It'll take, looking at their website, they're up to say 99% of mobile phones it will take. Then we have the writing, so the writing here, and then the writing on the belt is high vis, so that gives you an added bit of visibility at night time as well. It's a neoprene material. It's, it's really well made, I have to say, in fairness, it's a really good product, uh, really well made. Um, you know, I'm actually quite impressed with, with the quality of it. As for the yeah. mini pockets up here, guys, really good. So the zip guy here, that zip guy there, can fit a key. I actually was able to fit my leap card in there, so it'll actually fit a, a credit card, your bank card, basically. Um, you get a couple of keys in there you get a couple of bits and bobs into that guy and the same on the other side with the velcro one so i found i could put a uh, the aqua gel you know the high five aqua gel fitted one in fitted all the way down to the bottom and then just the top of it was just peeping out so that fitted perfectly there so those two pockets are really convenient the key thing for me um watching other people use the product the issue i have is the fit now I, I have I perfect for me, but I think other people are not wearing the, the best properly. So I'm just going to show you what I figured out on my run, how it really works. OK, so I have the belt on here now, as you can see, there you go. See these guys here. So this is how you adjust the belt, right? So for me, I just take hold of both of them and pull them forward towards me and it tightens up the belt on me now they're not rigid they're not set in stone so it'll it'll just tighten it and you'll feel it become secure and then just leave it go and it just holds nicely like that and holds everything in place now i've seen other people running and the belt will be bouncing up and down they're obviously not making it that little bit tighter there so that's how it worked really well for me as you can see on my run there, I had absolutely no issues at all whatsoever. 
uh, I ran about 12 miles altogether. And even when I was doing my, my session, doing my kind of harder, faster stuff, I was I was slightly concerned that it would um affect me negatively in regards like I don't like to like I don't like wearing gloves. I don't I'd only wear a hat if it's really cold, that kind of thing. Um but I got into the session, got into the run, forgot all about it really, you know, which is the sign that it's working, that it's doing what it's supposed to do. So that was really good there. Um now as regards washing it, um I'm assuming you can put it in with your running gear on 30 degrees and everything be fine. Everything running related 30 degrees. I'd never wash that in higher than that. Because it's on the outside of your top, it did get a bit it did get sweaty. But um I'd say you could even rinse it in under the tap and it'd be fine, like you know. But if you were gonna put it in the machine, I'd put it in on a really low temperature, but maybe just wash it under the tap and it would be fine that way. Now the cost, so the pricing. So looking on Apex's Apex Fitness's website, it's quoted at 35 euros and I think it's like 29.99 at the moment on offer. So price wise, it's it's really competitive with uh, other devices or belts or products that do the same thing on the market. So there's no difference really in price, but 29.99 that's pretty good like 35 is competitive with its its competitors but 29.99 that's actually pretty good price but for the quality the quality for me the quality of the product is really good and um, that's the first thing that was struck me when i opened opened the packaging how good the quality was in the belt so for me guys going forward um me personally i won't wear running the marathon uh, i know some people will but I will definitely use it going forward, and I'm sure on Bankela will use it as well. Um, it's it's a handy thing to have in your locker there for uh, for different types of runs, but also for other things as well. You know, if you're going hiking and stuff like that, it's not just one use. It's not. It's multi-use. You can use it. Probably use it for a couple of different things. Okay, so that's the Apex Fitness Running Vest, guys. Thanks very much for tuning in. I hope you enjoyed that. I hope you found that helpful. If you have any questions, work away down in the comments below. So thanks very much. Take care and we'll see you in the next one.